mankind is ever expanding the frontiers of technical superiority into areas unknown and uncharted. Each quest promises marvelous discoveries, but each also brings potential danger. In direct response to the dangers of our advanced technology, we need an organization that is ready to mobilize dramatic survival resources at a moment's notice. Conceptions and rescue that can challenge the impossible. <laughs> Thunderbirds 2086. The Thunderbirds, five of the finest cadets in the world, dedicated to the service of mankind wherever he may be in distress. Combined with a dazzling array of vehicles and equipment designed to specifications in the space-age technology of the 21st century. A special rescue squad ready to answer a last chance distress call. A call that could arrive at any time from any disaster scene on or off this planet. These are the Thunderbirds 2086. Flight check all green. Control, are we clear for liftoff? Space bus 19 are clear for liftoff. Have a good one, Ralph. Control, we have liftoff. ETA Moon Base Omega, six hours. We have booster separation at 618. Hiya, kids. This is your bus pilot. Now keep your seatbelt secure. Well, my hair feels so funny. <laughs> hey, look at Tom. He's flying. It's the same as swimming, only it's in midair. Everybody take off your magnificent I want you to stop this disgraceful behavior right away. I want everything secure and everybody get back in your... <sighs> If you're not quieting in your seats by the time I count to three, I'm going to call all of your parents as soon as we land. Hey, Ralphie boy, this is the life, huh? Yeah, I suppose you're right, Norton. But I'm thinking of going into the highway patrol in Florida. Coming up on the Gildan Power Station, Ralphie. All the extra hours you spent with me helped me reach the right balance, Master Maram. But you must learn more about your life force. Feel it around you. I will, Master. All I can feel in my class was the mat hitting my head. I know what you mean. Class dismissed. but maybe this once. Hey, you two. What's up, guys? Hi, Callan. We just finished our workouts and are heading back to command center. No, we're not. We're gonna get ice cream. Yeah, come on and join us, Callan. Here comes Mr. Chili. Detect coin in pocket. Three vanillas, please. Thank you. It is indeed a pleasure to serve you nice human units. Here you go. Why, Mr. Chili, thanks very much. You folks from outer space. <laughs> Just kidding, you're a great crowd. Thanks very much, Chili. Here, kid, you look as if you could use one. Hey, this one's much too small, Mr. Chili. Federation policy. Half sizes for half pints. That's not fair, <laughs> you stupid robot! 
Hey, Ralphie, something funny going on at Gildan 1. I'm reading a massive buildup of power. Come in, Gildan Power Station. Do you copy? This is Space Bus One Nighter. We can barely read your signal. Please amplify your signal. Respond. Mayday, this is Boss One Niner. <laughs> Commander Simpson, explosion at Gildan Defense Station. Federation Planetary Defense reports all computers going haywire. Large fragments entering atmosphere. Any spacecraft in the area? We have a mayday from Space Bus 19er. They've been hit by debris and are in a slow descending orbit. Commander, Planetary Defense says the Gildan explosion has triggered the first phase of Operation Shockwave. Get Planetary Defense. Have them disarm the warheads. They're already trying that, sir. The missiles are on condition red, but they say they can't launch without the go code. Team, we have a mayday from a space bus knocked out of orbit. Life support still functioning. What's with Planetary Defense? A massive power overload caused an explosion at the Gildan Space Defense Station. The power pulse has triggered the first phase of Operation Shockwave, the missile defense system designed to protect Earth against an attack from space. What's the plan, Commander? Shockwave seems stable. Get Thunderbirds 1, 2, and 3 up to that bus. Callan, take Thunderbird 4 to Silo 1 off Easter Island. Monitor the situation until planetary defense gets experts in. Captain, best of luck. Thanks, Commander. This is Captain Beta. Transfer all data on Shockwave to onboard systems. Computer, take us up. TB2, this is TB1 on final approach. TB1, the computer sequence is punched in.
on the bus lanes, and this is the first time I've run into any kind of trouble. You'll sell failure, no hydrogen, no power. We're just out of gas, and we're beginning a slow descent into the atmosphere. International Rescue will send the T-Birds to tow us in. This is Captain Veda with International Rescue. Hey, Captain, what took you so long? Come get us. Right. We'll be with you in a few minutes, so don't worry. We'll have you on the lunar surface to finish your trip in style. The Thunderbirds are on the way. This is Thunderbird 4 entering target zone. Sensors indicate a lot of electrical activity in the silo. Shockwave missiles have just launched. As of now, Operation Shockwave is in effect. Sir, can planetary defense destroy those missiles by remote computer control? Without the Kilton Space Defense Station, the missiles cannot be stopped. This is a direct order from the World Council. Leave orbit, enter the atmosphere, intercept the missiles, and destroy the warheads. Impact area is the west coast of the United States. Missiles have priority. Pick up the bus later. What about all those kids on the bus, Commander? There's got to be some other way to destroy those missiles. Anti-missile craft, something the Federation can do. I'm afraid not. Those warheads must be destroyed air to air. Dylan, separate Thunderbird 1 to double your chances of getting those warheads. There's not much time before that bus falls into the atmosphere. I'm aware of that, Captain. Get moving. OK. Now we'll see how fast you really are. Prepare to separate. proximity detectors first. Captain, we're aware of your situation, but even if our backup generator holds together, we've only got one hour until we enter the atmosphere. After that, we're cooked, uh, so to speak. Hurry back, guys. Kids, the Thunderbirds will be back in plenty of time, so just relax and sit tight. Todd, why don't we all sing until the Thunderbirds get back? Hey, I know a song we can all sing. 100 bottles of biodegenic goo on the wall. What's that rumbling sound? Ralphie, it's like this. We just lost our control computer. Can you delay our fall with any of the attitude jets? No, with the computer out, I get no reaction from them. We've only got about 30 minutes now. Our only hope is that the Thunderbirds will be able to stop those missiles in time. Shockwave missiles travel at Mach 7, and because of the danger of radiation, you'll have to remove the warheads before you destroy them. We'll get them, Commander. They're in sight. Jammer's on. Here we go. No good. It's changed heading. The Guidance computers are programmed to outsmart you in order to reach their target. But watch out! Some may be programmed to turn on you. Coming in again. No good. I can't get near them. Dylan, we're behind you and closing fast. I can't get close enough to grab the missiles, Grand. Since the missiles keep moving away from you, we're gonna have to find a way to box them in. But how? Captains, if you can deactivate the lead missile and shield its Guidance transmissions, the others should slow down. Dylan, try to remote Thunderbirds 7 and 8. Direct them around the missile to set up a trap. You can do it. That might work, but first I've got to catch up to it. Engine boosters yield in maximum power. Keep her steady, Jess. Targeting computers switched on. Dylan, you've got to try it now. We're running out of time. Five minutes to impact. All right. Here we go, Thunderbirds. Ready for remote launch. Thunderbird 7 and 8 away. Thunderbird 2, get ready. Prepare to box it in from the lower right flank. OK, I forced 
it downward. Here she comes. We're all set. Let's go for it. Ready to deploy mechanical arms. Here we go. Nice and easy. I missed. It's all right. Just try it again. I've already compensated for the directional change. I've got it, Gran. Okay, remove the warhead, disintegrate the fuselage, but don't trigger the fuse. Activating laser. Get ready. There she goes. Locked into targeting computers. Fire! Where's my sunglasses? Showing the warhead. The others are slowing. Let's set him up. Easy. Closing on target. Gotcha! This is Space Bus 1-9. Remember us, guys? We're falling into the atmosphere and we've developed a serious oxygen leak. How long can you hold out? At this rate of descent, about 10 minutes. 49 bottles of cryogenic goo on the wall. 49 bottles of goo. If one of those bottles should happen to fall. Hey, Ralphie, things have gotten worse. There's definitely a leak in cylinder B, too. What? But how? I've got green lights on that whole line. Now, oh, wait a minute. You're right, it looks bad. We're gonna have to tap the emergency cabin supply into the main cylinder. It's our only hope at this point. There. That extra supply ought to give us a few more minutes anyway. Firing laser. I got an amber light on condenser bank seven. Ignore it, let it fry. Running low on JP-17, switching in tank four. That'll be plenty. Grand, I got a red light on bank seven. Okay, Johnny, turn her off and switch to the backup. Jesse, light her up. Well, that was the last missile. Kellen, monitor the area for radiation pollution. Okay, Thunderbird 1, ready for link-up. Program for link-up with TV-1. Thunderbird 2 boosters, ready for firing. Coupling flanges, deploy. We have booster ignition. Punch it! Hey, Ralphie, remember that backup system? Well, it's out. We're close to complete system shutdown, and we've just entered the ionosphere. Fifteen bottles of cryogenic go out of the wall. Fifteen. Oh, please, no more singing. Fourteen. We're falling faster. Carbon dioxide is rising. How could the Gildan power station have blown up? Someone probably dropped a wrench in the Einsteinium Nyborg. The Thunderbirds have got to make it. They're the only hope these kids have. Don't worry, kids. The Thunderbirds will make it. Their oxygen's almost gone. We'll have to link up fast. I'll transfer all the emergency oxygen bottles to Thunderbird 1. Get the monomolecular towing cables ready for hookup. Sounds good to me. Visual at 11 o'clock. She's completely out of control and falling fast. Come in, Space Bus 1 Niner. Do you copy? This is Captain Hansen of International Rescue. What is your status? Do you copy? <laughs> Johnny, she's falling too fast for link-up. Put me in position to launch the escape craft. I'll ram the cabin and bring in the oxygen. The 
making it around. You get one shot, it'll be tricky. We're drifting. Lock in the auto compensation gyros. Locking target on the computer. On my signal, launch the escape craft. Ready? Launch! Escape craft away! into the cabin. Uh, 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 Are you all right? Yeah, but the kids need oxygen. I brought plenty of it. They'll be okay. Get ready to go home. Dylan, I'm spraying plastic around the rescue pod's entry hole. Tow and cable is secure. Next stop, Thunderbird 6, and then some dinner. I'm gonna be a Thunderbird and fly all through the system rescuing great kids like me. Wanna bid on Simpsons next orders? I say it's back to Earth base for monitor operations. All right, Thunderbirds, you're all to report right away to planetary defense for debriefing. But, sir, we were planning to check out Moon Base Omega for dinner, then head out to Club Milky Way. Sorry, they want you boys for debriefing on missile defense. Planetary defense is known for its long investigations. By the time they finish with every detail, it's liable to take almost a whole week, Commander. This is a direct order, Captain. I want you down here in 10 minutes. Simpson, out. All Thunderbirds heading home, Commander. たちの知らない未来がここにある君たちの知らない未来がここにある君たちの知らないメカがここにある君たちの知らないメカがここにある君たちの知らないメカがここにある君たちの知らないメカがここにある君たちの知らないメカがここにある君たちの知らないメカが